is another great day everyone welcome to Cassiano easy math so this video is about solving this uh, algebraic expression with the conditions 4 raised to y equals 8 64 raised to x equals 32 and we're going to find the value of the expression algebraic expression x times the quantity 3 plus 2y and before we start for those new to my channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. Alright, we start solving. So this uh, solving the uh, algebraic expression, we have two solutions to it. The first solution will be the rules of exponent and the second solution will be common logarithm. The rules of common logarithm. Alright, let's start solving. Since the problem presented itself with the conditions uh, represented in uh, exponential form that is 4 raised to y equals 8 and uh, 64 raised to the x power equals 32 so in solving this first before we go proceed uh, finding the value of this algebraic expression um, uh, concerning those uh, the exponents we have to gain common base to make our way of solving the problem easier is by converting the base into at least common base if we can have a common base for both all right so now first we focus our attention on the first exponential equation so 4 raised to y equals 8 so we have to write that down over here that's 4 raised to y equals 8 4 raised to y can be written the same way as 2 raised to the 2y and uh, 8 can be written the same way as 2 raised to the third power and now 4 raised to y equals 8 can be written the same way as now as converted that's 4 raised to y is 2 raised to 2y equals and 8 is 2 raised to the third power And now let's focus our attention on the second exponential equation, 64 raised to the x power equals 32. So we had to write this down again on the bottom. So that is 64 raised to the x power equals 32. And this uh, exponential equation can be broken down again into their exponential form, the base of 64 and the constant 32 on the right of side the equation 64 can be written the same way as uh, the square of 8 so that's 8 times 8 8 times 8 is 64 and can be written the same way as 2 raised to the third power that's 8 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 multiplied by 2 raised to the third power that's the same 64 as expressed in exponential form and next we focus on the uh, constant 32 can be written the same way as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 1 2 3 4 5 2 times 2 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 32 that means uh, multiplying 2 by itself 5 times so in exponential form that is 2 raised to the fifth power so this is equivalent of 32 now we go back to this original exponential equation right on the left side expressing those uh, the base of 64 and the constant 32 into their exponential form so that is now 2 raised to the third power times 2 raised to the third power equals 2 to the fifth power and the left side of the equation that's raised to a common exponent x and from here, the value of, uh, of another expression over here, I mean uh, equation, exponential equation from here, 4 raised to y equals 8, that is 4y equals 8. That's the same thing as what we have over here expressed in exponential form. That is 4 raised to y, that is 2 raised to 2y equals 2 to the cube since that's 8 
is 2 to the third power. So we focus on this one right here as expressed on exponential form. And uh, the value of this 2 raised to the 2y is equal to 8. And if you notice, 2 to the third power is 8. So we have to replace that value of uh, 8 right here in terms of y, where the uh, base 4 exponent y. So we have to do that. So 2 to the third power times 4 raised to y raised to the x power equals 2 to the fifth power. But since 4 raised to the, to the y power is the same way as 2 to the 2y, so we have to replace that one again. So 2 raised to the third power times the equivalent of 4 raised to y is 2 raised to 2y. It's all raised to the x power is equal to 2 raised to the fifth power. So simplifying this exponential equation will have, so I have just written the same exponential equation. Now we ended up uh, having both of these terms, both, both of these factors raising to the x power. So we distribute the x, so 2 raised to the 3x times 2 raised to 2 x y or 2 y x the same way equals 2 raised to the fifth power and in here left side of the equation the left side of the equation we're using the exponent rule where the exponent rule says a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n that simply means we're adding the exponent. So we'll be using that on here. So that is now 2 raised to the 3x plus 2 raised to 2xy is plus, that's we're adding the exponent, 2xy equals 2 raised to the fifth power. And if you notice, uh, since they have the same base now, then we can conclude that uh, the exponent here is equal to the exponent on the right. All right, so in that sense, we have here now equate the exponent. Left and right is equal. So 3x plus 2xy equals 5. And if you notice, this uh, equation right here is uh, looking like exactly almost like what we have uh, right here in the problem, what's uh, being asked that value right there, uh, algebraic expression, x times the quantity 3 plus 2y. And uh, what we have here now, all we have to do is factor out x. So that will be x times the quantity 3 plus factoring out x right there, that'll become 2y equals 5. This is now our answer. All right, so x times the quantity 3 plus 2y equals 5. We are now doing the uh, second solution by using common logarithm. First, we focus our attention again on the first exponential equation, 4 raised to y equals 8. So we have to write that uh, exponential equation again. That is 4 raised to y equals 8. And common logarithm says there, if we equate this one right here, logarithm of 4 raised to i to the base 4 equals logarithm of 8 to the base 4. Later, we'll be using this change of base formula. The logarithm of, of b to the base a is equal to logarithm of b divided by logarithm of a that's uh, that is now base 10 logarithm base 10 that's the change of base formula so if you know this in here now logarithm of of the uh, 4 base base 4 raised to y to the base 4 
just uh, cancels the base. They have this, the same base, so that we have ended up writing just y equals logarithm of a to the base four. All right, so that's the value of y in terms of uh, by using the logarithm. So next is uh, we focus our attention on the second exponential equation as a condition. 64 raised to x equals 32. So we have that down here. That's 64 raised to x equals 32. All right, so we're using the common logarithm the same way. So that is log of 64 raised to x to the base 64 equals logarithm of 32 to the base 64. So this is now the same way it cancels as base 64 to the base 64 right there. We ended up just x equals logarithm of 32 base 64. We have just found the value of y and, and x by using the logarithm. So what we have to do now is substitute the value of x that we found, same way with y, to the algebraic expression being asked, x times the quantity 3 plus 2y. So I have just written the uh, algebraic expression being asked right here. x times the quantity 3 plus 2y, where the value of x is equal to logarithm of 32 base 64 and y is logarithm of 8 on the base 4. We're going to substitute the values of x and y to this algebraic expression. So from here that will become x times the quantity of 3 plus 2y equals where x is logarithm of 32 base 64 times the quantity 3 plus 2y where y is logarithm of, of 8 to base 4 okay so simplifying it that's we have now log of 32 base 64 times the quantity 3 plus logarithm of 8 is squared raised to the, I mean, on the base 4, I should say. We're using the, the logarithm rule over here, by that is x log of a is equal to log of a raised to x. That's the same principle. So that is now the coefficient 2 now becomes the exponent on here. All right. Simplifying it further, that is now log of 32 base 64 times the quantity 3 plus log of 8 times 8 is 64. 8 is squared is 64 base 4. Now we have here the 3 constant that is also the same way as equal to the log of 64 to the base 4. If you try using the, your calculator, since we don't have uh, base 4 in the calculator, that will, be, that will be converted as the change of base formula. That will become log of 64 divided by log of 4. And now this is now base 10 logarithm base 10 from base 4 converted to base 10 so that is log 64 divided by logarithm of 4 base 10 so the change of base formula is log of uh, b to base a is equal to log of b divided by logarithm of a now this is base 10, both of them. All right. Now, so we go back here now. So we just write it over here now. So that is now log of uh, 32 base 64 
times the quantity 3 is now okay so that is now log of 64 base 4 plus the same log of 64 to the base 4 now this is simplified further it's log of 32 base 64 times the quantity so we're adding this up we ended up using the product rule of log the product rule is log of uh, of a times b equals get right there that is equal to logarithm of a plus logarithm of b so that's what we're going to use this on this part right here that means we're multiplying this 64 now so that is now logarithm of 64 times 64 and that is to the base 4 we're converting this uh, base 64 now and log base 4 to log of base 10 from here all right so we'll be using that for both okay so now this becomes logarithm of 32 divided by logarithm of by logarithm of 64 times the quantity logarithm of 64 times 64 as 64 squared divided by log of 4 now these are converted to base 10 logarithm now instead of base 64 and here base 4 now these are all base 10 and from here this can be simplified the same way as logarithm of 32 divided by log of 64 times the quantity the exponent become the coefficient now that becomes log of 2 log of 64 divided by logarithm of 4 and if you notice you can cancel this log 64 right there the numerator and the denominator and now that that becomes the value of this logarithm of 32 that is now log of 32 divided by log of 4 times 2 so we have here now logarithm 32 divided by logarithm of 4 that is equal to 2.5 times 2 that is 5 so we have here now the uh, algebraic expression being asked value of that x times the quantity 3 plus 2y is now equal to 5 so that's the answer so that's the same as the first one all right so that's all for now and uh, for those new to my channel please like and subscribe for more videos hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever i upload new videos thanks for your time thank you for watching i will see you in the next videos have a great day everyone bye